Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. I'm so happy that you come by and visit me on my channel. And it's me, it's Shasha SJ. I'm so glad that you are here again today and for jumping in for my part two gnome series craft from the dollar store. Yeah, let's get into this. Here we go. Right, and next we are going to make is this gnome look at that gnome super cute and yeah we are going to make a hand for that gnome and all together we got everything from the dollar store all right first we are going to need is a felt for the nose and this one same. This is for the nose. Rubber band. A rock. You can use a rice or a beans if you want to, but I prefer rock so it stays for a long time. And an ornament. This is the one that I want. Any ornament that you prefer. And as you can see, our gnome is holding a ornament and of course the stuffing a thread this one for the gnome's hat ornament or design or something and we are going to use this one and this and believe it or not, we are going to use a sock again. And I got this from the dollar store. And this scarf, I got this from the dollar store as well. You can get them at the dollar store. And that's a scarf. And believe it or not, the last thing but not the least, the one that we use for his beard is the scrub buddies. Like, you know, the this one. This is what we are going to use for his beard. And it's very easy. And yeah, that's the one that I use. So now let's get started. First, what you're gonna need is, I already used the other one. So you grab your, your scrubber or something. And if there's some phrase like this, you don't have to pull it and give it a hard time to yourself. You just have to cut it down. And what I did is I opened them in half. I open it like this. Just leave the side like that so so we have a little beard going so just leave this one don't open this part so it's like a mustache you know and there you go you have a little mustache already going and it's super cute and fluffy and white all right so that's the one we did and set that aside now we are going to grab our sock i got this large one so what i did is with this end right here i cut this area the black sock so i cut them and set that aside because this is going to be the gnome's hand okay so that goes on the side and what we are going to do is put this in our little jar like what I did earlier to the other gnome that we did because it's much easier that way and then you can fill it in with a rock so it's on you on how heavy you want for your gnome and then how tall you want for your gnome 
and that could be perfect. And then you fill it in with a stuffing from, you know, the pillowcase that I use. If you buy this, guys, it's so expensive. So just use stuff that um, you have. Or you can even go to the Goodwill and buy stuffing in there. A pillowcase that they have and it's cheaper that way. And then all you have to do is just push them in like so and stretch it a little bit so they're kind of like even on that side. So you just have to move it around just like so. And I think they're kind of like the same height now. So let me see and you just all you can see the difference is if it's enough like that. There you go. You just I just like to estimate stuff. So there you go and all you have to do is tie it with a rubber band again. Just tie it down just like so. And then what I like to do is I like to secure it with a thread because rubber band will break over time and if you want to keep your stuff forever you might as well secure it with a thread or if you have a yarn do it okay and then you can cut it and there you go there's our first gnome it's already I mean the second gnome is almost creating like a little body for it and then all I like to do is I like to leave a little bit of something in there and just cut it off and toss it the end of it and I like to use the lint roller to clean my area because it's faster that way and then what I like to do is I like to estimate of where to put the nose so the nose could be all the way down here right there because it's if you do it like that it's kind of like on the top so what I did is I like to estimate the nose would be there and same as usual I like to cut it like a U sign you know and cut it down don't worry about the top because you are going to just like that and there you go that could be your gnome's nose over here okay so it's like a U or a V shape okay so that part is doing well so what we can do is we do the same way on how to make our gnome's nose now what you're gonna need is you grab your felt cut them into a little piece of square enough to fit your little something you can use a buttons if you want to but I like to use this one so it looks like a um, real gnome kind of real I don't know how you say it but that's how I want I want it looks like almost real and just squeeze it down and do it like this it doesn't need to be perfect because it'll be covered by their beard anyways so just squeeze it down and wait until everything dries. You can use a marble for this one, but I like to use this one because it's smooshy. But either way, you can use marble or buttons and then just wrap it with a felt or something and you are good to go. And then cut the end of it and secure those open area with a glue and just like so like that and just squeeze it down be careful because it's hot and it should create like this tiny little nose now all right next what we're gonna need to do is we are going to put our nose down here where the end of the U or the bottom of the U or a V so just put it right there just like so and I'm just going to 
put something in there so I have a clue and just put a glue on it and just stick it in there be very generous with your glue guys so then it holds really nicely and that's what I always do I like to be generous for my glue <laughs> for my crafts so just keep it going like so and when it dries now you have to put a glue below the nose okay so be very generous as well to give a glue on your on that nose on that nose nose okay and then you tuck it in all the way in like how you want it so and just like that so they're super pretty and there you go now it creates a little nose for our gnome and you can also cover it up on that area with a glue so they're holding together and then you can make your nose pop up a little all right so that's how it goes next is you are going to glue the rest of that fur or something duster and then just glue it down to secure that on the top okay so don't worry about here because it'll be covered anyways with our hat of the gnome's hat okay and there you go it's looking pretty already and you grab your scarf I got this from the dollar store and everything that I use I promise guys I use everything from the dollar store and what I like to do is I like to aim how big or the size of the head of the gnome just like so like that and I like to leave a little bit and then cut them and what you need to do is you are going to create a U shape like U or a V shape like almost U but almost V shape okay so I will estimate again because I like to estimate stuff so just like that all right and I save this one for the hand gnome's hand okay and then you turn it the other side like that and you run a glue to that gnome's hat now since it's drying we are going to use we are going to make a hand for our gnome now i grab this one Two of these for the hand. I am going to use the medium size because I used the large size for the um, nose. So all you do is tuck it in, put them in there and just tuck it in just like so, like that. And you grab your thread and secure it with a thread all right just secure it with a thread so while the hat is drying we are working on the gnome's hand all right so that's good to go just like so you don't need to worry about the thread because we are going to cover it anyway and do the other one the same way i don't know which one is okay there you go
go. You have a hand now for your gnome. They're kind of like wearing a mittens. All right. So you just have to cut this area so it's not flopping everywhere. And just like so. And now it's time to turn our hat inside out. Okay. There you go. And now there's our hat for our gnome. And then I grab this little piece again. And this is what we are going to use. Okay, this tiny little pine cone. And I just cut a tiny leaf and another leaf, something stem. And I tuck this in right there like so. And I put a little blob of glue on it, just a little bit, and then get it in and just tuck in like so. All right, and then you just put a blob, like a little tiny glue in there, and then just tuck your pine cone in there, and it will hold it really nicely. All right, so there is your hat for your gnome. And then I grab a little bit of stuffing, just a little bit of stuffing for the hat to hold it at least a little bit. And I leave it a little bit, nothing in there, that there's nothing in there. You can make it look it like that or you can make it stand like so. But I kind of like want, I, I like my gnome's hat standing like so. And there you go. There is our gnome's hat and it's good to go. All you have to do is you have to make sure this stitch by glue should be at the way back. All right. So you just have to push it down until you reach that gnome's nose. I like to secure the one at the nose first because it's nice that way. Then I can see how to push my hat all the way back. And let's secure the nose first. All right, so first is the nose. Let's secure the hat closer to the nose and you put the glue behind it, okay? Not at the edge, but behind it. So just do it like that, just a little bit and let it cool off. Let it cool down real fast. It will cool down real fast. All right, so now that nose area are secured. There you go. There is your gnome. This hat is tied in there. There you go, we're almost done. Now we have to make the gnome's hand, all right? Don't glue them all the way yet because we are going to tuck in the hand. So don't glue all the way yet. You have to glue this one first, the nose, okay? Not even the back. Don't glue the back either, okay? So let's make the hand. Now what I do for the hand is I cut this in half, all right? And cut them like so, just like that. And uh, I cut this area, because I just, just a little bit, just for the, enough for shaping an arm. Now when you cut it, there are like two of them already. Okay, so now I like to do is I like to put a glue on the end of this side. So just do it like so. I'm going to make this thing closer. You can see what I'm doing. So I put a glue on that area and I just push it so it won't fray when I close that arm. And what I did is 
I just put this arm or the hand enough to cover that thread. Okay, so I just put a glue in there and enough to cover the thread and the round ball is enough popping in there. So it looks like he's wearing a glove. And let's keep it going and turn it. And there you go. You got a gnome wearing a gloves on. Because of course it's cold outside. And there you go. And then all you have to do is you can close it with a glue again. Just like that. Let's pinch this one so until it dries. Okay, and then put a glue here on that end. And there you go. You just have to pinch it down enough to cover that glue. And it doesn't need to be perfect because it's nice that way. You know? Okay. And if it does open a little bit, you can just cover it up with a glue again. Alright? Okay, and then do the same way. So there is our arm and it's time for us to tuck this gnome's arm on his body. Okay? So be very very careful when you cut this end part because they're kind of pointy and it might make you hurt. So in this area is I kind of, I like to make it tuck just like that to pretend that uh, that gnome is holding that tree like so and like hugging it like I like to make him hug it first and like he's hugging that tree and then I like to Tuck in the arms right here. See, that's why it's nicer if the arm is longer so then you can estimate how you want it. And then on the other side, the same way. Because this gnome is hugging the tree, okay? I like him to hug the tree just like that. And... He's hugging that tree and the other arm should be holding his hand because he's freezing. Right? So just do it like so. Like that. And tuck this arm right there. Now you have a gnome with a hand holding a tree. So first is, I like to make it stand like that and glue and glue this tree on his arm all right so i'm going to put a glue in it so that gnome is holding that tree because he's holding it because it's cold and he's going to hold his hand at the same time and let him hold it like so, like that. Because if you're cold, you guys, you kind of like want to touch your body or something because it's cold. 
Now first you have to do is you are going to glue the hand now first behind the hat and then right by the armpit of that gnome and do the other side like you kind of look it almost even you know and you tuck it in and you put a glue on that arm on the shoulder and by the armpit of that gnome now I'm pretty sure it'll be super looking cute already and what we are going to do is we are going to see if you don't glue that that tree is going to be flopping out so what I do is I like to tuck it in and make it hold it like so so it is touching his hat so it feels like it is secured for him okay and then I put a glue on it and hold it like so until it is dry and sturdy all right so there you go and i think it's doing pretty good already and if you can see that the arm is not almost even you can always work it out which is good because if you have a long arm that is awesome when you have a long arm and there you go you just have to massage the head and make it secure pretty and the hat should be dry enough already and that's the moment you close the back of your gnome's hat so you are almost done and keep gluing just keep it glowing so and just put more glue on it so then it's more secured on your nose and you can also put a glue underneath on his beard so it doesn't show what's inside and i like to secure it with a blob of glue and just tuck it in there and do another one on the other side and just tuck it in there now you have an awesome awesome gnome there you go there's your gnome holding a tree. Ta da! that's it that was an awesome gnome that we just made from sock and from the dollar store items anyway i'm going to be showing you more of gnome series so i think it'll be a series of gnomes so hopefully you guys would like it it's super simple and easy so hopefully you come back next time and yeah see you soon bye